Okay, so there you got the output, the CV 2.68 coming off the buck. Okay, on the left you got the ammeter coming in from the 12 volt power supply. In the middle you have the amps that are going to the supercapacitor at 2.68. So your amps over here are at roughly, well, open circuit the, the 12 volt adapter measured 16 volts. Okay, so you have some somewhere around 12 to 13 volts loaded at that amperage and this is what's going into the, the actual cap. Now if I move this lead over here for a moment and we look at this, we see the supercapacitor right now supercapacitor sitting at about 0.45 of a volt that's how charged it is right now so I need to hit it Let's see what happens okay so we've got almost four amps going into the supercapacitor it's 1229 and we have under an amp coming out of the power supply which is good because it's only rated to an amp look at how fast that cap charged from point three what was it point four five we're already at point one seven four I think we actually may be seeing this thing running wider open than it should be. Like I don't think it's actually throttling anything. I think it's just taking everything that this wall wart will give it. Because I just adjusted it up the constant current CC. I just adjusted that up hoping I could get over the 4 amp mark. So I don't know exactly what the limitations is because the bucker itself is rated at 8. But you can see we're actually kind of exceeding the capacity of the wall where we're, you know, consuming, we're consuming quite a bit of current here. But you can see it does also taper off towards the end. Now we're at 12.31 and we're at 2.0. See how that just steady ro steadily rolls off there. But I've tried a lot of different methods and for the money, this is the way to go if you want to build yourself a, a super capacitor flashlight that you plug in the wall and you look leave it and forget it. It's the way to go. It's even got some LEDs on it. Um, Although I don't find that their behavior is altogether too accurate. It's supposed to give you like a charged indicator when the, when the output meets the measured or something to that effect. But I'm not too worried about this because you can just you can leave it chart you can leave it plugged in indefinitely. That's the whole idea having the constant voltage. So we're at like about three minutes now. And that's 2.7 volts, 400 farads starting at 0.45 of a volt.
So we're at 2.6 and we're still putting an amp in. That's great. Compared to what my last buck converter did, it, it was pet pitiful. It would it would sit forever at 100 milliamps of output. And that was because I had to use a resistor to um, do my current control. And that's not what you want to do. And you can see right there. Oh, actually it did work. You know, I see what happened was the blue LED on the device, you can see, the blue LED came on. And it's actually basically shut down. Okay, so red LED was charging. And uh, now the blue LED has come on. And it's basically doing nothing. So, quite frankly, couldn't be better. Just an awesome way to uh, charge super cups. Fully endorse this product. It looks, seems to be really good. And what's really cool too is I'll show you one. Got a couple. They come in a nice metal case. I know you can't really see it behind the ammeter. That's why I'm going to grab this one. They come in a nice little metal case. And that that bluish tinge to it is just a wrap to protect the shiny case protective case or protective wrap on the case okay so this little top pops off and there you have it your inductor your MOSFET your controller and then you have your two your two um, potentiometers nice proper output lugs on both sides well marked and um, it runs on an LM 258 P and they haven't shown the uh, they haven't shown the what MOSFET they're using they've sort of hidden the markings on it but I'll bet you if you look up the PDF sheet of the LM 258 P I'll bet you that this is an example circuit of a of a CVCC supply, or you know, pretty damn close to something that the linear or whoever put out. Let's see that Texas Instruments probably. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.